he insisted the entire continent of Europe will be allowed to move on if MPs backed Theresa May's Brexit deal. The Attorney General faced Eurosceptic opposition as he made a last-ditch plea in the Commons while answering questions about his legal advice on the effect of changes secured by the Prime Minister. Mr Cox, the government's chief legal adviser, said, MPs have a political decision to make on the deal after confirming the changes reduce the risk that the UK could be trapped in the Northern Ireland backstop, although this outcome has not been entirely removed. Speaking in the Commons, he said, the question now is, do we assume responsibilities as a house and allow not only this country, yearning as it is, for us to move on, but the entire continent of Europe, to do that, the Time has come now to for this deal, his rallying cry came after Mr Cox said the Prime Minister's revised divorce deal with the EU had not given Britain legal means of exiting the so-called backstop arrangement unilaterally if intractable differences arose just hours before MPs vote in the House of Commons. Mr Cox's advice is crucial to winning over Eurosceptic Tories and Mrs May had hoped that revisions over the Irish backstop would be enough to get her deal through Parliament. Sir Bill Cash, Conservative Chairman of the European Scrutiny Committee, said Mr Cox had referred to a reduced risk of the UK being indefinitely detained in the protocol but confirmed there were no internationally lawful means of exit unless both the EU and UK agree. He said, does he therefore appreciate on his own terms that this fundamental legal impediment trumps political considerations and that therefore would be insufficient protection for Northern Ireland to continue as part of the United Kingdom, Mr. Cox said he did not agree with Sir Bill, adding, one has to look at mutual incentives and disincentives for both parties to stay in the arrangement, Brexit deal latest, Geoffrey Cox said the legal issues around the Irish backstop remain unchanged, image Getty, but the Attorney General said the legal risk remains unchanged, and the fundamental circumstances remain the same. He wrote, however, the legal risk remains unchanged that if through no such demonstrable failure of either party, but simply because if intractable differences, that situation does arise, the United Kingdom would have, at least while the fundamental circumstances remain the same, no internationally lawful means of exiting the protocol's arrangements, save by agreement, speaking to MPs this afternoon, the Attorney General insisted the EU would not trap the UK in the backstop indefinitely, he said he believes the joint instrument contains materially new provisions and described the changes as reinforcement of binding legal rights, but he said matters of law can only inform what is essentially a political decision, telling MPs they must make political judgment, read more, Geoffrey Cox's letter in full Brexit. Deal latest, Cox delivers his speech to the House of Commons, image EPA, the legal risk remains unchanged Attorney General. Geoffrey Cox making a statement to the Commons on his Brexit legal advice, he said, they are not about a situation where despite the parties properly fulfilling the duties of good faith and best endeavours they cannot reach an agreement on future relationship, such an event, in my opinion, is highly unlikely to occur and it is both in the interests of the UK and the EU to agree a future relationship as quickly as possible for such a situation to occur. However, let me make it clear, the legal risk, as I set it out in my letter, of November 13, remains unchanged. The question for the House is whether in the light of these improvements, as a political judgment, the House should now enter into those arrangements. Writing in his legal advice on the Strasbourg agreements, he said, I now consider that the legally binding provisions of the joint instrument and the content of the unilateral declaration reduce the risk that the United Kingdom could be indefinitely and involuntarily detained within the protocol's provisions at least insofar as that situation had been brought about by the bad faith or want of best endeavours of the EU. Read more. Brexit Live Brexit Deal Latest Geoffrey Cox's letter has dealt a blow to Mrs May's deal. Image PA It may be thought that if both parties deploy a sincere desire to reach agreement and the necessary diligence, flexibility and goodwill implied the amplified duties set out in the joint instrument, it is highly unlikely that a satisfactory subsequent agreement to replace the protocol will not be concluded, but as I have previously advised, that is a political judgment, which, given the 
mutual incentives of the parties and the available options and competing risks, I remain strongly of the view it is right to make Tory Eurosceptic and high-profile ERG member Steve Baker said the political declaration makes it clear that we would build and improve on the single customs territory provided for in the withdrawal agreement, the former Brexit minister said the EU will mean that to be keeping the UK in its customs union, asking, isn't it the case that if we negotiate under this agreement we will either find ourselves trapped indefinitely in the backstop because they are acting in good faith, or we will have to agree a customs union, contrary to our manifesto, but Mr Cox said, I really don't believe so, before saying he does not accept the backstop is the basis for any future arrangement, again pointing to the separate negotiating track to work to find alternative arrangements, saying it would be extraordinary if the EU declined to accept any such measures. Brexiteer Tory MP Andrea Jenkins tweeted a picture of Geoffrey Cox's legal advice document and wrote, The Attorney General's advice is that the legal risk remains unchanged, nothing has really changed, and it is still a bad deal. So unable to vote for this, we must hold our nerve. Brexit backing Conservative MP Owen Paterson tweeted a paragraph from Geoffrey Cox's legal document, writing, Para 19 of at Geoffrey Dash Cox's letter is a brutally clear answer to the question that a deal Eddington failed to answer last night. The legal risk remains unchanged. Labour's shadow Brexit secretary said the government's negotiating strategy was now in tatters. He said, the Attorney General has confirmed that there have been no significant changes to the withdrawal agreement, despite the legal documents that were agreed last night. The government's strategy is now in tatters. Brexiteer former Cabinet Minister John Whittingdale suggested the Attorney General's advice was pretty terminal. Brexit deal latest. Geoffrey Cox's letter was published just hours before MPs vote. Image Getty. He told Brexit Secretary Stephen Barclay that the advice reads very much as if nothing actually has changed, appearing at the Brexit Select Committee. Mr Barclay said, I don't accept that because one has got to look at this as a package. Not in isolation, I accept the point that if both sides are negotiating in good faith, that is what the final paragraph of the Attorney General's advice is referring to and therefore there will need to be an arrangement, but he said there has been a strengthening in protections against the EU acting in bad faith to trap the UK and the Attorney's advice recognises it. The Brexit Secretary told Mr Whittingdale, it does not go as far as you would like, I accept that, but it does allow for this issue of bad faith and the UK being trapped, and that is the issue that politically kept coming up in the chamber, heading into a meeting with the Prime Minister, Brexit Minister Robin Walker insisted there had been positive changes that Tory MPs would support. Brexit deal latest, may leaves Downing Street ahead of the Brexit vote tonight, image EPA, he said, I'm positive. We've seen real progress, more progress than many believed would be possible, I'm not making crystal ball predictions, but what we have seen from the Attorney General is this reduces the risk of the UK being caught in the backstop. The news comes after Mr Cox launched a furious attack against John Snow after he claimed the Attorney General rejected the validity of Theresa May's new Brexit deal and had been told to find a way to say yes. The Channel 4 News anchor wrote on Twitter, a lawyer contact tells me that the Legal world is aware that the Attorney General said no last night to the validity of Mrs May's new EU deal. He's been told to go away and find a way to say yes. A cohort of lawyers has been summoned. Mr Cox reacted furiously to this claim and simply replied, be asterisk 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 asterisk.